Hey learners, welcome to another science episode. I am Teacher Daria. And I am Teacher Jane. And we are going to discuss the taxonomical classification of organisms. For our most essential learning competencies, explain the concept of species. We classify organisms using taxonomies. From your grades 3 to 7, you have studied some of the different organisms and their easily observable characteristics. You learned about those organisms that you find just around you and other places in the country. This video will introduce you to the concept of biodiversity, specifically the variety of organisms living on Earth. This will discuss how they are classified and named. It will also show the similarities and differences of these organisms. It will describe the different groups to which these organisms belong, Biodiversity is coined from the words biological diversity. Usually, scientists would refer to three levels of biodiversity, namely species diversity, different kinds of organisms, genetic diversity, genetic information that organisms contain, and ecosystem diversity, the different kinds of places where organisms live and the interaction that bind these organisms together. in the world that you can count, how will you be able to know about them? Why are these have to be classified? Why? Taxonomy, which literally means arrangement law, is the science of classifying organisms to construct internationally shared classification systems with each organism placed into more and more inclusive groupings. Think about how a grocery store is organized. One large place is divided into departments, such as produce, dairy, and meat. Then, each department further divides into aisles, then each aisle into categories and brands. And then, finally, a single product. This organization from larger to smaller, more specific categories is called a hierarchical system. Taxonomy is a part of science that focuses on naming and classifying of groupings organisms. A Swedish naturalist named Carolus Linnaeus is considered the father of taxonomy. In the 1700s, he developed a way to name and organize species that we still use today. His two important contributions to taxonomy were, first, a hierarchical classification system, Second, this system of binomial nomenclature, a two-part naming method. The modern taxonomic classification system has eight main levels, from most inclusive to most exclusive. They are domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. By using scientific names, Confusion among scientists is avoided which can happen if common names are used because common names of organisms vary according to the language spoken in each country. Scientific names allow the use of universal names which helps scientists clarify the organism they are referring to. Scientific names also provide the identity of organisms and indicate their true nature. To further understand this lesson, Let's answer this activity. Classify me. Below are the list of organisms that inhabit our planet. Classify the following based on their physical characteristics. Write them in the proper column in the table. Tell what the kingdom they belong. Hat and coconut are belong to the kingdom plantae. Cattle and crocodile are belong to the kingdom animalia. Algae and paramecium are belong to the kingdom protists. 
Mushroom and yeast are belong to the kingdom fungi. And lastly, bacteria and bacilli are belong to the kingdom bacteria. Always remember that it is our responsibility to protect different species for the sake of future generations. Because the work to protect one species benefits us all. That's all for today. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone! everyone.